Committee on Western Hemisphere, Transnational Crime, Civilian Security, Democracy, Human Rights, and Global Women's Issues will come to order. It's a pleasure to welcome our distinguished panel of witnesses. Today's hearing focuses on the U.S. strategy to counter transnational criminal networks and corruption in the Western Hemisphere. I, as always, I want to thank Ranking Member Senator Rubio and his team for their excellent partnership and for their help framing up this hearing. Uh, the work that we've done on the region together is something I'm very proud of. The U.S. and our 34 neighbors in the region, in this hemisphere, share deep ties, close history, family connections. Crime and corruption pose a growing and present threat to our friends across the hemisphere and to the safety and security of Americans right here at home. Transnational criminal organizations, TCOs, use corruption, intimidation, violence as tools to influence government officials and create a more favorable environment for illicit activities. We've seen time and again that this type of insidious erosion of public trust in government and democratic institutions has led to political instability and a surge in migration flows toward America's southern border. It also creates avenues for encroachment by foreign adversaries like the PRC and Russia that brazenly exploit these weaknesses. In December 2021, the White House released a U.S. strategy on countering corruption, which establishes five pillars. First, modernizing, coordinating, and resourcing U.S. government efforts to fight corruption. Second, curbing illicit finance. Third, holding corrupt actors accountable. Fourth, preserving the strength of multilateral anti-corruption networks. And finally, improving diplomatic engagement. The administration's national security strategy released in October 2022 pledges to accelerate global U.S. government efforts against TCOs and integrate law enforcement efforts with diplomatic, financial intelligence, and other tools to, in coordination with our foreign allies and partners. These are ambitious goals. Today we're going to talk about how we're doing, how they're being implemented, and what more we need to do together. It's not an abstract issue. Transparency International's 2023 Corruption Perceptions Index highlights citizens' perceptions of public sector corruption around the world in several Western Hemisphere countries. The scores for 10 countries in the region ranked among the bottom third of the 180 countries included in the index. Among the worst performing countries in the region are Venezuela and Nicaragua, where corruption is entrenched in autocratic regimes. Haiti, where violent gangs threaten to overthrow the government, and Mexico, where the cartels have expanded their reach and influence. U.S. assistance and engagement are critical to countering these threats to our national security. We have an essential role to play in bolstering the stability of the region in the face of these challenges. Every crisis faced by the region and its people deeply and directly impacts the U.S. The U.S. can't stand on the sidelines. It's essential that we work in partnership with our neighbors to strengthen democratic institutions and the rule of law. We owe it to those partners and allies and to our friends and family in the region and here at home to take the initiative and bring the fight directly to pernicious actors who are creating these threats. Now let me turn it over to Ranking Member Senator Rubio for his remarks before I introduce the panel.